didn't see you there. Welcome back to another video. So um, if you guys saw my vlog today, well, it wasn't really a vlog. It was kind of an update video on what's been going on. I said that I might vlog today or I might vlog tomorrow. So throughout the whole day, um, I'm, I'm sure you guys could understand. It was really hard for me to like bring myself to actually just do a normal vlog and sit down and walk around and go vlog with my friends or vlog around the house. So I just decided that I didn't want to like put on a face and fake something. Obviously me and Taylor are still going through some things. Nothing's changed from earlier. I haven't really even talked to her. I'm sure you guys saw my, I literally filmed it guys. Like I'm filming pretty late in the day right now. It's probably like seven o'clock at night. I uploaded that video in the, in the afternoon at some time. So it's only only been a few hours since I uploaded that video. Um, I'm gonna get into all of that stuff when I go upstairs and film um, the rest of this video, which you guys will see. I wanted to talk to, um, I wanted to talk a little bit more about what I said earlier. Now, uh, I decided that I still wanted to try to upload because I really miss making video. Also, uh, if you can probably tell, I'm, I'm sitting on my mom's car right now. Uh, GTR's back there, the f is in the shop. Why, I can't, I keep getting so sidetracked. It literally just felt weird not vlogging or filming a video for so long. I couldn't bring myself to film like a normal video. But I'm gonna try to do it tomorrow, guys. I, I'm, I'm over this, like I, I, I'm just praying that me and Taylor can talk and, and work whatever it is out we need to work out. But we're about to head upstairs. I just wanted to kind of intro and uh, obviously we're gonna have to take a step back into my life, which we will do tomorrow. I'm gonna do a full normal vlog. I'm gonna try to at least, don't mark my words, but I'm, I'm gonna try to my, my very hardest. I'm gonna try to film a normal vlog. So guys, we will be back. Normal family vlog, running around, going around San Diego tomorrow, hopefully. For now, let me kind of fill you in on what's been going on. So kind of over the last few days, um, as you can know, as you can probably tell, I haven't been filming um, videos. I got back from Dubai, kind of hit the fan, I guess you could say. I got really busy with some other things and I feel like my health caught up to me a little bit. If you probably can't tell from the videos, when I travel and do all these other things like not only am I filming YouTube videos but I also have a ton of other things going on like working with different people and my family and T Fox brand and and all this I'm getting into esports like all these awesome things are happening so there's so much behind the scenes um, that I have to like worry about and I have to that I have to do other than making YouTube videos so being that I hardly ever get to sleep believe it or not uh, and I'm not complaining in any way I absolutely love I'm chasing my dreams and you should chase yours as well I'm not a superhuman and it catches up to me when I got back from Dubai I, I had been traveling consistently and doing meetings and working and doing awesome things creating awesome content for you guys and etc uh, I think it caught up to me and I got pretty tired and then kind of everything crumbled into a hole. Anyways, I am back inside my garage. There's a few things I want to talk to you guys about um, and then we can get into the rest of today's video. Let me talk about my cars really quickly. So the GTR, I have a lot of really big plans. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you there. The FRS is usually parked right here and it's actually at SD Wrap right now getting some new tires. If you guys saw my Instagram video. <laughs> Uh, I was kind of uh, messing around a little bit. I actually drove from SD Wrap all the way to Mexico, then uh, did those donuts, obviously, then drove back to SD Wrap all while my wheels had wire showing on them. So my tires were extremely worn out. The GTR, I'm thinking about unwrapping it. I want to do some performance stuff. I want to make it even more of a monster. I want to unwrap it, potentially Liberty Walk it or wide body it. I haven't really decided which which kit I would want to do on it, but I want to unwrap it, wide body it, and then get it rewrapped a different color. So if you guys have any like opinion on that, then like let me know in the comments down below. I just wanted to bring that up because it's something I've been thinking about over the last few days. And of course, one last thing I want to talk to you guys about. Don't forget to get your Christmas shopping going. Right now I'm wearing the acid wash hoodie. I wear this thing every single day. And then also I was on a phone call with Sean Duras. And we were actually on a FaceTime call, and I thought it would be funny for me to put a beanie on because he always wears beanies, and then I kind of fell in love with them. So I've been rocking a beanie lately, which you guys have not seen because that was literally the day I like decided I didn't want to start. I didn't want to vlog for a few days. Comfiest beanies in the game. I've worn like you know all that Supreme beanies and the Louis Vuitton beanies, and like no, these are the these are the most fire. So if you guys want a beanie, make sure you go cop when it's winter, or if you need the acid wash hoodie, those are always there, as well as the black tie dye. We got the Galaxy Tail logo hoodie. So much stuff. So uh, make sure you guys cop some stuff for Christmas or when you get your Christmas money. 
you already know what's good. We are also going on tour, and by we, I mean Jake Angelus, Maverick Leonard, Dylan Hawkins, and myself will be going on tours. New Jersey is completely sold out. I've been getting so many emails and messages from you guys. If you email the girls at T Fox Brand just enough, we might add a few extra spots. There's also tour stops in California and Kansas City, Missouri at the Sky Zone Parks. That's right, you guys get to hang out with me and jump on trampolines with Dylan, Jake, Maverick, and myself. So it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna have a merch store at every single stop. That way you guys can come and then hopefully I can see you anyways, like maybe outside, like walking in, we can say hi, chat, whatever. But guys, make sure you get your tour tickets. Um, I believe California is almost sold out and Missouri. So if you wanna come meet me and my friends on tour, go get on that now. Parents, get your kids a little ticket and you can come meet me too and then I can take a picture with your kid that was kind of weird, I spoke too long. Anyways, uh, let's go upstairs. Um, woo! You haven't been in the vlogs in a few days. Cause I haven't been vlogging. I know. Are you glad it's not a 12 a.m. vlog again? Yes. You glad about that? Yes. And then give us an update on Kirby. Kirby's good. Kirby's good. She's sleeping. She's Kirby's okay. always sleeping, nothing's new. Um, Steve's in bed. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay's not home. Guys, Lindsay has been so sick from her wisdom teeth. I don't know if that's normal. She got her wisdom teeth taken out on Monday and I heard usually it either hits you super hard, I haven't done it yet, by the way, or you get insanely sick. And Lindsay's been in bed since Monday. Today is Sunday, so um, that's pretty crazy. She like, we got really sick and I couldn't even vlog her. Like I felt bad, like me as a YouTuber felt bad filming her. It feels so good to pick up the camera guys. Like this is, I feel like this is almost my therapy. I, again, I'm sorry, I'm not like the most life full person right now. Feels good to pick up the camera. I hope you guys understand. I promise you tomorrow we will be back normal vlogs. I know I'm talking a lot right now, but there's so much to update you on because I'm so used to filming a vlog every single day that I don't get to just, you know, I, I'm smushing all the talking I'd normally do into one video. If you remember, I don't know if this is inappropriate to vlog, but I feel like we've shown enough of this whole situation. See, it's even weird to talk about. I, I feel like, honestly, people are gonna say like, oh, you shouldn't put this stuff on YouTube, but me and Taylor's life was, is on YouTube already. So I feel like this is like, okay to film. I, I don't feel like this is awkward because you are literally my family. Like I feel normal talking to you guys and filming about this stuff because I'm, we're so transparent with our lives. I, I picked up the camera to film this next clip and I was like, is this, is this wrong? But it makes me smile. So this is, uh, this was Taylor's desk. And if you look over here, we went and painted those. I made the monkey and she made the pony. I'm gonna have to give those to her. And then she has her little bear that I won her at the Santa Monica Pier. That's cute. I fixed all this. This was like literally not my desk. Like this was, this was Taylor's. I'll just, yeah, that's kind of weird. Wow, excuse all my dirty clothes on the floor. Okay, so uh, this is the serious part of the video. I feel like there are a few things I need to address um, with you guys. I already made a video and so did Taylor. I mentioned in the last video that you guys are like family to both of us, both of our fan bases are family to ourselves. So I feel like it would be messed up to leave you um, on, re on red, if that makes sense, and just kind of ignore the fact that we just broke up on the internet. I, I did mention also earlier that we haven't talked a whole lot. We have texted a little bit, obviously because she was a little upset on the fact that I made um, the video I posted yesterday. If you have not seen that, it was um, basically kind of the announcement video of me and Taylor. She was a little upset that I made that without her consent. I want to publicly apologize to Taylor for making that video without her consent. We are a team and that announcement should have been made together. I hope we can talk and work things out. So to Taylor, I'm sorry, I should have, uh, you know, we should have communicated on that. I mentioned earlier that we've talked a little bit. I think I said something about that. So we talked a little bit about my YouTube video that I made yesterday because I, I just felt like it was your guys' right to know. We made the mistake of bringing it to Twitter and that was effed up to kind of leave you all hanging. I, I know Taylor wasn't against telling you guys, it's just the fact that I kind of just made the video. Me and Taylor have talked about that and I, and I did text her about making this video. You know, she was like, okay about it. Uh, I think at this point we both made, I don't want to call it a mistake, but me and Taylor both brought it to social media. We obviously care about our fan bases and about each other's fan bases. What I mean by saying that 
is that at this point, like we, we wanna be as transparent with you guys as possible. That way even maybe some of you can learn from the situation. Um, so anyways, uh, for today's video, since we got you guys pretty involved in what had happened, and honestly, let me say this really quick. I'm so thankful for everything everyone's been saying to me and Taylor. Um, you guys have been so awesome and so supportive. Um, and some people have been kind of ignorant and stupid a little bit, but um, you know, that's YouTube comments for you. So anyways, now that I've mindlessly rambled on for a few minutes, today's video, I want it to be kind of revolved around your response. Anyone who has commented their opinion or commented what has gone on, I kind of want to read that and you guys can let me know in the comments down below how you feel about their comment or their response or give me your response. I went through the trouble of screenshotting a few different comments on my computer. We're gonna read through them and you guys see my response to them. Um, and also I get to answer some pretty common questions that I've seen a lot of you guys ask. Okay, let's start from the top. No entiendo at all. They both, they both now saying best friends out of nowhere. Tanner trying to cover up for a gold digger. I've seen a few comments saying that this is over being a gold digger. Um, I, I, all I wanna comment on this is that little kids have been saying that from the beginning of our relationship. You don't know our relationship outside of the camera. And I, I know that's hard for you guys because you don't know our relationship outside of the camera. And I, it just, it makes me laugh when people say gold digger because it's just, it goes right over my head. Well, we tried to warn you, so... See, this is hard too because we didn't have some nasty, this isn't some nasty breakup where we never want to talk to each other again. And this, oh, this is so weird to film. So you broke up even though you have a strong bond and you still love her, but you broke up. She got an apartment near you so she could spend time with you and now you want to break up with her. For what? Why is it complicated? I'm not trying to control your life, but just an answer. A lot of people have been texting me and I don't want to speak for the both of us, but like, I really feel like this is a rough patch and a lot to do with communication. I don't know, I did, this is so hard to like respond to these comments because this isn't a diss track from rice gum or anything, but I, I completely, I, this person's right. I just think it's a rough patch. And again, like it's hard because there are some personal things that cannot be brought to YouTube. It has nothing to do with me not, with lack of love for either of us. I feel like that has nothing to do with it. Rachel says, I thought this was clickbait. <laughs> Me too. Gets an apartment and finally starts getting somewhere and then Taylor leaves. How typical. You should be pissed in all honesty. Who said Taylor left? I'm sorry, dude, but she was too hot and too thin for you, man. Why am I filming this video? My goodness. I feel like it's a prank, bro. Got he. <laughs> Got he. <laughs> Is it a prank? No, I don't think it's a prank. Is it a prank? I don't think it's a prank. Or maybe it is a prank. I don't know, it could be a prank. No, it's actually not a prank. Never wished for clickbait more in my entire life. I have to agree with that. I think it was the engagement prank that pushed her over the edge to breaking up with Tanner. Quite possibly. You guys are the perfect couple. Who agrees with me? I think he needs to add a little were under you guys were. Sarah Robinson made me a very nice comment, so I'm gonna read it for you guys. I never make any comments, but I feel the need to say this. Tanner clearly still has respect for her, and I'm sure everyone bashing her isn't making it any easier for him. I can't come to understand why a breakup automatically makes her a gold digger. He also mentions she recently bought her own house, again, her own house, yet she's a gold digger. Stop hating on everything and everyone and just show support to Tanner. If y'all are so protective of his feelings, think how he would feel when he reads your comments. As if y'all know her as well as he did. Show some respect to him and her. They are both regular people. He just has the balls to share his life with all of you. So first off, I want to say that I respect Sarah Robertson for that comment. I think that explains everything perfectly. I still have so much respect for Taylor and I, I really do believe that this is just a rough patch. I've made a promise to all of you guys to share my life with you and I've done so over the past year and a half every single day. Before that for adding on another eight months when I did every other day vlogs. Um, this is just a bump in my life that we will overcome together, you and me and Taylor. 
So hopefully, again, speaking for myself, I think the gold digger thing, if we just keep bringing that up with Taylor, that's been happening since we first started dating. I'm not worried about it. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother Taylor. That's why we never really talk about it. When we do, it's just to feed those trolls that love hearing about Taylor being a gold digger. It's so weird filming this video for you guys because I feel like this is a whole side to me that you don't normally get to see. So I think I'm gonna read one more comment and then um, I think we're gonna call this a video, guys, because it's getting late. And then I will be back with another vlog a normal vlog tomorrow. You are 17, broke up with your girlfriend on the 17th of the year of 17. Again, assuming on that I broke up with her. In the last comment, someone was assuming that she broke up with me. Okay, everyone, I just finished reading the comments. Um, I just wanna say thank you everyone for your response. And once again, your support to both Taylor and I in this tough situation. I will continue to hopefully be texting Taylor. Maybe we could meet up or something in the future. But for now, I'm gonna keep all that personal stuff between me and her. She was cool with me making this video, so um, that's why I'm making it. I would never step over that line again because I know how that feels as a social media person myself. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to cop the tour tickets. California is almost sold out and Kansas City, Missouri is almost sold out as well. So make sure you guys go grab your tour tickets before they are all sold out. Get some Christmas merch right now and then when you also get Christmas money with your Christmas merch, then you can always buy more merch. So um, there you go, I got you guys. Peace out, I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Let's roll the Fox fam. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe and get some of the merch. And let's roll the outro. I wish you were so